All right, go. so this is going to be part three for the wall climbing tutorial. And I've realized uh, all we need to do is the um, corner detection to go around the wall. So this is not going to be very long. So over here I have my animation uh, for the climbing system that I will put uh, in the description. And I have those uh, turn left and turn right. So this is what we're going to use. Uh, so I'm going to go and jump straight ahead the third person character. And this is where we left off uh, last time uh, at the part two of the tutorial. So right uh, under this, uh, basically to do the corner detection, I'm going to choose uh, two more input. So let's say uh, this is Q. And let's say this is E. So I'm going to start by uh, bringing a branch over here. another one right after and the first one we're gonna check if we're uh, if we're hanging and the, la the other one we're gonna check if we can jump left and from that can jump left from the false you can bring another branch and we're actually gonna make two boolean over here can turn left and can turn right so for the Q over here I'm gonna use the turn left and right after what I can do is get the player controller and disable input so you make sure that it does the turn around the wall and you're not giving any other input and it's playing the right animation so right after what I can do is play a anim montage and for this to work I'm just gonna hit compile over here and I'm gonna go back to my turn left and right animation select both of these and I'm gonna create an anim montage and I think uh, we've used over here uh, we probably use a default slot so we can just keep it like this so I'm just gonna go ahead and over here select the uh, corner left and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a delay of about 1.2 second I'm gonna call our grab ledge custom event that we already made in the uh, I think this is part one and I'm gonna copy another delay after that uh, this can be about 0.2 and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the player controller again and I'm just gonna re-enable the input just enable input and we're essentially going to do the same thing for the left so I'm going to grab all of this I'm going to copy paste over here for the input E so over here this branch of course we will want to can turn right uh, we're still disabling the input uh, and over here we can choose uh, the corner right uh, we're doing the same thing so I'm just going to take all of this comment it out turn right and left all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our uh, tracer over here and we're going to make a uh, two tracer uh, so we're going to bring two custom events uh, this one can be a turn right tracer just going to copy this name and make a new custom event and this one can be turn left tracer and from both of these we're going to do line trace so I'm going to bring a sphere uh, a sphere trace by channel and I'm going to get the left uh, arrow and the right arrow and the left is going to go over here and for this I'm going to get the world location 
and right under this I can get the forward uh, vector and this is gonna be multiply uh, by a by a float and let's say we want about uh, uh, 70 and what I'm gonna do is plus uh, both of those vector just like this and I'm gonna plug uh, the world location in the start and the result of this in there and we're actually uh, actually we're gonna make a little uh, modification to this vector uh, because we want it to appear uh, a bit higher in the z-axis so I'm gonna rig a vector over here uh, from x we can make vector again and I'm going to plug that in. Uh, we can plug Y as well. So for the Z axis, what I can do is a plus. And I'm going to give it again about 60. Um, so what I can do right after is I'm going to branch. Uh, if we hit something. And I'm going to can turn right. Uh, copy paste this one two time. And if it's true, you can leave it at false. And if it's false, you can put it at true. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and copy paste all of this logic for our tracer, our left tracer over here. And I'm going to plug the left arrow. And I'm going to change both of those Boolean for the can turn left just like this and also for the visibility channel for both of these we want to make sure we have our ledge trace uh, ledge trace over here and for now if we're going to uh, draw the debug type just so we can see uh, where the sphere trace appear and what we can also add is from the actor to ignore uh, just make array and select ourselves so we don't have any problem. I'm going to copy paste this over here also. Uh, just like this. And what I'm going to do is comment that out. Uh, turn right and left tracer. And last thing I'm going to add to this is uh, for both of these tracer. Um, I'm actually going to uh, grab these uh, give it a bit more space and just want to make sure that you're not uh, trying anything uh, funny during the corner detection so I'm gonna stop the movement immediately and I'm gonna do this uh, for the left side also and I'm, I'm gonna change a bit uh, the direction of the line trace over here uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm uh, gonna plug this in the plus and uh, leave this plug in the start and all of this can be can go to the end and same thing for this uh, perfect all right so before we continue I'm just gonna flip those input uh, real quick so Q is going to be for left and E is going to be for right uh, just like this and I'm also going to go in uh, each uh, animantage well actually not the animantage, the animation itself and I'm going to activate uh, enable root motion for the right and also for the left before we test this uh, we actually uh, going to need to go to event tick over here and right after the jump left and the move left we need to branch again to give the ability to uh, turn the corner all right so if we can move left that means we don't want to do any action so i'm just going to set uh, this can turn left uh, to false again and from there if we're not going to jump uh, i'm going to branch again bring our can jump left So 
so if we are jumping that means uh, we don't want to turn left so I'm gonna leave this to um, false and if you want to jump uh, if you want to turn left over here uh, I'm gonna bring our uh, turn left tracer for us to uh, do the action and I'm gonna take this and copy paste uh, for the right uh, side so I'm gonna take this and change uh, I can jump right like that and also bring the can jump right over here and this can be uh, our turn right tracer and also uh, over here if we're not moving uh, if we're moving right uh, we will want to get this guy and leave it at false I think this was a mistake uh, over here you just want to plug uh, can turn right and also for line trace uh, we need over here to give uh, a radius of about 20 um, so we will see them and before i test this i'm actually going to go over here and grab this cube to look more like a building um, so i can go around it easily and both of these also can be big so i'm just gonna uh, make them a bit bigger and make sure I align them with this guy and uh, so that looks pretty good and I'm gonna bring this guy over here also uh, just so we can make something uh, that looks uh, like it's climbable uh, uh, so now we should have our tracer right there I'm gonna press E and I'm gonna be completely synced with the wall and if I go there I still have this one perfect okay so I'm gonna go over what I would do uh, to actually build a wall uh, so what you can do is uh, like a bit of a trick so I'm going to take this cube inside and I'm going to make it very big. So I'm going to have uh, some kind of a wall. I'm going to bring it pretty close like this. And for each of those cubes, what I can actually do is uh, maybe change the, change the material. And from this basic material over here, I'm gonna grab a uh, M shell because I like the color of it, but uh, you should probably use a real texture. Uh, but, uh, you know, this is just a tutorial. So I'm gonna go and put it over here. Just so we see the part that we can actually climb. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to do a quick test so here I can do the jump. And at this point, I can jump again and continue to the right if I want. And now I can do the corner detection. Or I could go back. I could choose to actually go back and jump on this one. And if you're just uh, tired of this, you can just drop off and go away. 